When creating a timeline in Prezi, you have a couple different options of how you can create that. I'm going to show you two different options here real quick. Uh, when you sign in, go to the home page, sign yourself in, you can hit new Prezi. From there, it'll take you to a template screen. The template screen, uh, the first one we're going to choose is a blank template, so we'll choose that. On the blank template, then you want to draw yourself an arrow. So we'll hit different frames and arrows here, create an arrow. We're going to start an arrow just straight across the page. Kind of works for your timeline. From there, you can add all kinds of different stuff. Um, you can draw brackets in the background. You can add circles if you want. Okay, you can draw a circle with some information to put uh, the, the dates and stuff in. Um, we'll keep it simple. Now, if you want to add text, you can just double click on the screen. It gives you a spot to add text. So from here, if you want to add a date, let's say 1981. I'm going to make a timeline um, here with just some information. So you can draw another little arrow or a line to indicate where that spot would be. You might want to add generations on here, 80s, 90s, and so forth. Again, you can draw arrows or lines to do that. Space those things out nicely. If I want to add the information, then I can type into that. So let's say we want to say this is first space walk. I don't know if that's the actual date, but we're going to add it in there for it. Next, you can add some information. You could uh, say 15 minute walk in space. You can, type. All right, you can change the sizing of it, make it bigger or smaller. Um, you can play around the text, make everything smaller here a little bit. Let's say you want to add a picture. You can go to insert. If you have images saved, you can go save your images. Um, I'm just going to go space and see what comes up. Up wrong. Let's try that again. Let's see if it works this time. Not let me do pictures now, but if you have pictures, you can always add pictures in there like you would for any um, different things. This is the first option for it. Now, when you're ready to add a path to it, you hit Edit Path. You click the first point. You want to start there. Go to second point. Your third point up here. Fourth point. It lets it travel around and makes your presentation make a little bit of sense. You can move those points around if you want. Drag them where you need to. Add extra points in there. Um, just give it with a normal Prezi. That's the first option. Second option, um, again, you want to choose a blank template. From here, you want to insert, let's see, you want to insert symbols and shapes. Oh, it's diagrams. You want to insert diagrams. One of the diagrams down here gives you some options for timelines. It's actually called timelines. You get a couple different timelines. Now the challenge with this is it's good to know what you're going to do. If you're going to do only three events, four events, five events, six events, um, that helps. So let's click on the, the five event one. We'll choose that at this point. You can always add to it, but it makes it a little more complicated. So make it the size you want it to be. Move it to the spot you'd want it to be. Okay. It already has, has the template set up for you. So if you click on a spot, all right, let's say we want to edit the whole thing. Click on here. Okay, edit dates, edit the text. Okay, let's just change the date to 1981 again. We'll put that in there. Edit this text, spacewalk. All right, and from there you can add information. Now the challenge with this one is it gives you the path already. Okay, it tells you what it's going to show you right from there. And you can look on the sidebar and see all that. You know, first step, second step. Third step zooms in. Now you can you can add to that. You can add other points, you know, fourth point or fifth point, something like that. You can move those points around and whatnot, just like you would for any other Prezi presentation. So it's a little more set up for you, but it does give you some options. So those are two options you can use when creating a timeline here on Prezi.